Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Cook and Run Brewing there in Virginia. This is their double edge, guys. And before we get started, I picked up a bunch of beers at the craft beer store. And some of them had dates and some of them didn't. And I have no control over that. And some of them were at the end of their shelf life and some of them weren't. You would think at a craft beer store that wants these things especially the ones that have dates, once they get close to their 90 days, they would mark them down to get rid of them. Eh, not so much. And some of these breweries don't think a dating machine is uh, a necessity. Uh, and if they do, they're putting it on the carton or the case or the bumper of the truck that's delivering it or whatever. Uh, this has no date on it, guys. I don't have any clue of how old it is. Uh, I'm hoping it's uh, going to be fresh, and it has "drink fresh" written right on the label here. But they don't—they haven't. I think it's important to say "drink it fresh," but they don't think it's important to put a date on it. So what's up with that? They must be smoking some real good shit. That's all I can say. I don't understand that. The first purchase is your brewing uh, equipment, and the second purchase is your dating machine before you brew your first beer. Just my opinion. So, especially if you're producing. IPAs and double IPAs. Uh, enough said on that. Uh, it just chaps my ass. These breweries think that they can put these beers out without a date on. It is what it is. Uh, eight and a half percenter, and I'm just not a big fan of all this silly ass graphics on there. And you got to turn the can around on the back side to find out what the hell it is. Uh, you know. And it says here double edge, double IPA with lemon, lime, matika, and lemon drop hops, 8.5% alcohol by volume. Absolutely nothing written on the bottom of the can. So, if I want to review some shit around here, I got to pick up what I can get. Uh, if you're not sending it to me, or if somebody is not uh, a breweries or subscribers, uh, that do think dating their stuff is important. I got to buy what I can get my hands on around here. And I have to go to the craft beer store to even get that. You can't get shit like this at Kroger's or the little gas station beer slash beer store. They don't carry this stuff. So, probably have made my last run over to the barrel chest for a while. Uh, I'm just tired of have to go over there and half the stuff I pull up off the shelf uh, doesn't have any kind of date or vintage on it. It is what it is. When I run through what's in the fridge now, uh, I did get a beer mail package uh, today uh, with four beers in it. So, uh, once we run through those guys, it's, it's going to stop for a while. Uh, double Edge American Imperial IPA, double IPA over to Untapped. And speaking of Untapped, uh, yesterday's beer, uh, I want to post a uh, review rating on it and uh, it wouldn't let me do it. Uh, I don't know if they're having a glitch or this is part of that little joining effort with Beer Advocate, but as far as I'm concerned, it's already having a bad effect. It's only been one day. Uh, I couldn't post anything about that beer and I may not be able to post anything on this one. So uh, it is what it is. Uh, and I tried to restarted the browser and I logged out and logged in and did everything I know to get it button it won't. When you click on the plus, the uh, check sign, it, the screen just goes gray and you, you can't do anything. So, if you don't see anything posted for me for till they get their shit fixed, it is what it is. Uh, it says here, double edge is a double IPA made with lemon and lime, plus mosaic and you can hops. That's what it says on the side of the can. This ultra hazy double IPA is infused with tons of fresh lemon lime flavor. Refreshing. All right. We shall see. Uh, no IBUs listed here, guys. No IBUs and no date. So let's find out what this is all about. 
See if Crooked Run is a crooked operation. Seems to be fairly carbonated, so let me back off on that super aggressive pour. And this is very well carbonated. Uh, two fingers of head on that pour, very cloudy, very hazy, nice amber color. Looks good. Uh, to the nose we go. Definitely giving the lemon lime. Little bit of citrusy hops. And that's about it. More lemon lime than anything else. Not what I'm looking for in, in a uh, double IPA, but you know, maybe what they were looking for. Not impressed on the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. Lemon, lime, slight hint of some citrusy notes. It's almost like a lemon lime soda. Very easy drinking for eight and a half percent. Alcohol is well hidden. I'll give them that. But the uh, if you're looking for big tropical fruit notes or pine or grapefruit, nah, I'm not getting it. Very easy to drink, I will say that, but nothing outstanding. Uh, probably wouldn't buy this again. Very, very carbonated, as you can see. Very carbonated. So, uh, I don't know if the brewery, how old the brewery is, or what they're using. I, 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 their beer distribution, evidently decent in Virginia, because I can get it here. Let's see if it says where they're made. Sterling, Virginia. So, uh, like I said, don't know much about the brewery at all. I just, I, I do know that they're not dating the cans. Maybe they're dating the four-pack, six-pack, case, carton, or something, but I... In Virginia, you can buy singles, and it's sitting on the shelf. So, and I bought some that, that, that were not dated, guys. I mean, because I I, can, I don't know what else to do here. I mean, if I want to get stuff to review for you guys, I have to buy what's sitting there. Uh, otherwise, I go I can go over there and might pick up two or three beers instead of fifteen or twenty or whatever, uh, because there's no dates on these. Because these brewers don't think that's important to date each individual can or bottle. What can you do? We're going to sip on this and we'll come back and give it a great. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on in an hour or so. A uh, piece of beer, especially if you like lemon lime in your IPAs. That's basically um, a little bit of citrusy notes there. Now that it's warmed up. Not a lot of pine or anything like that. More lemon and lime. And a little bit of citrusy notes in there. Other than that, that's what I'm getting. I'm not impressed with this beer. Uh, probably not something that I would buy again, especially since I don't have a date on the bottom of it. So, uh, I was just trying to gather up some beers to review, guys, and half the shit on the damn shelves at the craft beer store didn't have dates on. So, probably done with that little situation. So, it is what it is. So, final chug on this one, guys. The, the, the biggest positive note I can say for an eight and a half percenter, it is very smooth and easy drinking, no alcohol taste at all. So it's well made in that aspect. But uh, not what I'm looking for in, uh, in this style of beer. I, I want to taste the, the mango and peaches or oranges and grapefruit and pine and pineapple and not lemon and lime. And that's, that's not what I'm after. So it may be your cup of tea, not mine. Final job. Guys, uh, like I said, this is probably a B plus beer in a B can. And that's where I'm going to give it. 85 for me, guys, on this one. Right down the middle of the B category. Uh, beer Advocate says N.A. Not enough people have commented on it. And untapped. It's still not working correctly. I can't 
post any comments. So, uh, it didn't take but one day before their little beer advocate untapped conglomeration effort or umbrella thing has already affected us. I've never had this problem on untapped. And now that they announced it yesterday that uh, they were uh, under the same umbrella uh, uh, as Beer Advocate, now I can't post comments on, on, on Untapped. So it didn't take long for that uh, shit to hit the fan. So uh, I was afraid of that. I mean, it probably helped Beer Advocate, but I don't know if this has anything to do with it. I'm just assuming, and you know what they say about assuming, it makes an ass out of you and me. I've never had this problem with Untapped before. And when I click the little check sign to post a comment or a grade, it just grades the screen out. <laughs> it may get to the point where I won't be able to use Beer Advocate or Untapped at all. Maybe get the information, but I can't post any comments or grades or anything like that. So, yeah. again, as I say over and over, it is what it is. So, 85, Untapped does have it at 3.77. I'm pretty close to that. That's in just barely into their B plus range. I'm not giving it to B plus because I don't have a date on the bottom of it. So, if you've had uh, Double Edge from Crooked Run Brewing, let me know what you think till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the free.